Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. Yesterday I talked about barbed wire, how to secure it to fencing. A lot of people were like, hey, just get wire cutters and cut it. I've done a lot of videos on it, but I wanna just do it again. A lot of new subscribers. If you're going to secure your property as a prepper, you might as well follow what the military does. Yes, you're not the military. You don't have the logistical support, but there's no reason to rewrite the book on it. I've thought of it for 20, 30 years. Are we doing it the right way? Are we doing it the military way or should we do it the prepper way? And I keep coming to the conclusion, there's only really one way. The military has spent a couple hundred years, you know, making this system work. And it's called barrier material. It's called Constantina wire. It's called barbed wire. It's called fencing. It's called HESCO baskets. So yes, we got to modify it a little bit because we're a prepper. We don't have that billion dollar logistical train following us. But to be serious, if you want to survive, yeah, you got to have food and water, but you better have some type of barrier plan uh, to keep people away from your house. If you have a gun safe full of AR-15s, you might need to look at selling one if you don't have the cash. If you got cash laying around and you think, oh, I'm set, man, I got food, water, shelter, security, all this stuff, and you don't have a ton of T-posts, a ton of metal posts, a ton of barbed wire, you're wrong. There's, this is the only thing. This is a combat multiplier. Now, this isn't the sure way of surviving. This is just another little thing you can do. Combine that with having a good team, having uh, good weapons, having lots of ammo, uh, having perimeter alarms, night vision, thermal. All this gives you a better chance to survive, and that's what it's all about, prepping. All right, this is the enemy side. Yeah, a single fence like that, it's very good. The purpose of fencing, there's many purposes, but I'm going to keep it so basic so no one uh, gets confused. We want to stop them. We want to slow them down. We want to keep them in the kill zone. That's the bottom line. Yes, you can take a pair of wire cutters up to my fence in the middle of the night, and if I'm not watching it, you can cut a hole right in and walk right through. I understand that. But during a time of turmoil, if you have fencing up, you're watching it. You're actively watching it. Because if not, just pretend you have nothing. People could walk right up to your house. Granted, if you do this in the suburbs right now, they're gonna probably call 911 on you and have you committed. I understand that. The advantage to me is I've been stockpiling steel. I don't throw steel away. I get to get it for free and I have hundreds and hundreds of posts. What's the purpose of that? Well, we do a lot of welding projects, so it comes in handy. But in the worst case grid down, I can fortify my, my house. I have to think more than, hey, I can fortify my house because if I have neighbors, I need to actually sh have a plan to help secure my neighborhood in a worst case grid down event. Because if I don't secure my neighborhood, I'm eventually gonna get picked off too. And I wanna take care of my neighbors. Uh, Uncle Sam has put a lot, a lot of money into me, sent me all over, did a lot of schooling to, to be able to teach others. So I'm just sharing it. Your taxpayers, brought you this information you paying your taxes all right this is very crude you could do a little bit more organized you could probably use a lot less barbed wire we're simulating this as barbed wire first of all i didn't want to get cut up today and secondly i didn't want the little guys to run over here and get cut up you're working with barbed wire put gloves on definitely some type of safety glasses it's a must somebody's going to get hurt long sleeves is good all right basically this is a a concept called tangle foot. Normally you don't have the ones going up. Picture this. Picture you have a grassy field. SHTF. The grass has grown up this tall. But you've gone ahead and put tangle foot. Really short stakes in the ground with barbed wire running every different way. Purpose is I'm the bad guy. Your house is over there. If I come up to here, you're a good prepper. You have a watch plan. You're watching that location. You might have to rely on some MERS or some type of sensors to help you watch that perimeter, but hopefully you got eyes on because as soon as I get to here, guess what? Your survival plan, your, your retreat plan has been implemented. So people, if they're sleeping or getting up, it is a well rehearsed plan. Things are happening. Even if it's just you and a couple kids in your house, it's happening. So if I get to here and I want to get through that fence and get up to your house, yeah, I can start clipping. Let's see, if I tried to walk, step over this, I mean, I, I probably could, but I'm gonna get, right now I'm snagged right there if that was real barbed wire. Barbed wire has uh, prongs on it. You got two, two prongs and four prongs. Four prongs are definitely better than two prongs. Anything is better than nothing. So 
if I wanted to get at that thing, I'm gonna have to start clipping, clipping as I go. And while I'm clipping, you're shooting, bottom line. So if the bad guy wants to cut through here, what does he have to do? He's gotta suppress wherever you are. He's gotta put rounds on, that's just like in the military. There's a battle drill, how to do this. So you're, the bad guy's gonna have to shoot so many rounds, it will let me, the bad guy, come up here and start clipping. Hopefully, your plan is well enough where he can't suppress you. You can still put well-aimed shots onto here, and he's not going to continue doing this when rounds are going over his head. So you're going to use tons of material. I, I'm scared of telling people how much they really need, but I need to. You need stacks of barbed wire. Find a good deal on it. Buy some. If you're serious, if, if you've put $50,000 into survival supplies and nothing into barbed wire, I know guys have done that, you're wrong. It's a commodity, it's never gonna go down in value. So, you want something like this. It's impossible to get to that fence. It will take me a few minutes of cutting. A lot of resources, a lot of time. First thing you wanna do, you might say, Dave, I live in a country, I got 10 acres. First thing to do is just put a regular fence up, regular field fence, chain link fence. If you can't afford much, put the T-post in and put three strands of barbed wire. That way you can always keep adding to that. Uh, increasing your security and if really the crap hits the fan then you can spend everything and put all kinds of efforts into securing it hopefully this helps yes this will cut them but you better have a plan so they can't cut it thanks for watching